Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you in the button. Welcome to the Out Hustle Podcast with Hype. This is episode 106. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building. This is a GFT takeover episode. Reintroduce yourself to the audience, gentlemen. What up, though? It's your boy Willie Styles in the building. Y'all already know it's your boy Smooth. Back again Shout- with my brother Hype for another, what? This about our third, fourth time? Copy that. You're saying veteran of the situation. That's why I said reintroduce yourself to the audience. New listeners every right, day, B. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Definitely, yeah. definitely been definitely been my third time. And I, yeah, definitely got to be your fourth time, smooth. Maybe fifth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Y'all can also catch us every Monday on GFT Radio Network or live on YouTube, Twitch, uh, Facebook, all that good stuff. We're live every Monday. So y'all can catch us at 10 o'clock. You can hashtag join the conversation. And catch us three with Dame and Sonny. Shouts out to them. You know what I'm saying? You can catch us every Monday. But yeah. now, let's hit the rundown. E-Block Radio Network every Monday at 2 o'clock on the E-Block Radio Network. 2 o'clock on Tuesday on the GFT Radio Network. Wednesday is 216 to blend. That's 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Then we go Friday, I say podcast radio network, 10 a.m. THC Media, 10 a.m. on Saturdays. West Coast, what's happening? We still need y'all. Uh, Custom Hustle World. Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter custom sweatsuits you see the logo right there if you watch it on the e-block radio network uh custom jerseys jackets i got the snakes in working on hats you already know the jerseys football basketball baseball hockey we got them however you need them and we got the spring jackets are in now too you know what i'm saying be on the lookout for those posts coming up soon but the spring jackets are in too uh you can get those customized however you like them the same way as the varsity joints h2h cleaning also my h2h cleaning is my cleaning company uh, gentlemen, let them know where y'all are from. We forgot that part of the introductions. International hype, not just the hashtag. It's a way of life. Well, Willie Styles, I'm from uh, Detroit, uh, straight from the west side. Y'all know how we do. Uh, shout out to all my peoples out here. What up, though? Yes, sir. You know, this your boy Smooth. I'm from Trent, New Jersey, about 30 minutes away from Hank. You know what I mean? Not too far uh, in the uh, tri-state area. So what they're saying is they need H2H cleaning, slide out to Trenton, slide out to Detroit. If it's worthwhile, <laughs> we will make that happen. Roof and plumbing, HVAC, cleanups, cleanouts, flooring, carpeting, all of that good love. If you need it, we could probably make it happen uh, at H2H cleaning. Now, episode 106, gentlemen, this came from a Monday uh, Join the Conversation episode. As we're closing the episode out, I think it was just us three that week, we closing the episode out and the conversation veers towards the percentages that you can give in a relationship. Now, we all had different answers on what those percentages were and how those situations all broke out. So as you know, me being me, that's an episode. So we're going to let Willie start off with this one. In fact, we're going to let Smooth start off. We ain't going to let Willie start off. We're going to let Smooth start off with this one. Break down for us the relationship percentages and how that is in your perspective. Let's go. Well, for me, I always said it's 100% 100. You feel me? We, If we're in a relationship, we're both supposed to be giving our all to the relationship. Now, each of us should bring different qualities or, or, or things to the relationship. Understand? So we shouldn't be bringing the same thing to the relationship, in my opinion, because, you know. That means um, we have holes, yeah. Yeah, so exactly. The same yeah, stuff, yeah, 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 gaps. Yeah, it's gonna be gaps. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So you know, I need her to lift me when I can't be uh lifted, and, and I do the same for her. You know, uh, as far as like, you know, sometimes we're not gonna be whole. You know what I mean? Nothing is perfect. Nothing is linear. It's the ups and downs. So when she may be down or or, or emotionally, and I ain't just talking about financial talk about emotionally or or, or or spiritually, mentally, or whatever, I should yeah, be here. Real, real life yeah. happens to us all, copy. Exactly. Right. So I should be able to uh, pick her up. If I can't do that, then, there, then there's a problem. You know, and if she can't do that for me, then there's a problem. You feel me? 
a, a relationship. I know a lot of people say 50 50, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want, like, that don't make sense to me. Like, why mm -hmm. you only give it, why you only giving me half of you? You feel me? Because if we're in a relationship, say, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'll be 40 this year, bro. So, more than likely, the next woman I get in a relationship gonna have kids, whether they be older mm -hmm. kids or younger kids. Mm -hmm. So, if I take into that, get into that relationship, I have to take on that their kids too. I have a daughter. You feel mm -hmm. me? So she has to uh accept my daughter as well, a hundred percent of me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so it's more than just uh I you have you have to take people's I don't want to say the baggage. I'm, I'm for lack of I can't think right now. But, you know what I mean? I don't want to say is, baggage. It's, it's, it's a package deal. It's a package deal. It's not baggage, it's a package deal. I mean, yeah. it's the children, when we refer to baggage, we don't refer to the children as the baggage. The baggage is all the stuff that comes with you being you. How did you get through these 40 years? All the exactly. scars and all of that that you yeah. had from well, most people, it, it's got a negative connotation. When you say baggage, that's a negative. Yeah, I absolutely. mean, but that it is, absolutely. but that's also always up to interpretation. If you hear baggage and go negative, then that's what you think. If you hear baggage and just think these are the issues, concerns, <coughs> and the things that made that person that person, then it's a different way to look at it. Go ahead, yeah, brother. Okay. Now let's go, my man Willie Styles. Shouts out to my man Willie. In case y'all y'all know, my man Willie is the tech guy. He handles all of the audio and all of that for me. I'm just talent, Absolutely. man. Willie is all <laughs> that. Okay, so shouts out to Willie. Let's go. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I do what I do. Uh, so um, I really need to go back to that episode when we when we had this back and forth because I I think I think Smooth tried to steal my answer because. <laughs> I feel the same way. I don't, I think what it is, is that we, what we may have disagreed on was, was what we were calling the percentages. Cause I was like, I was the Facts. first one to say, look, this 50, 50 stuff is, is BS. You can't do 50, 50. Don't tell me you're going to give me 50, 50. You give me 50 and I'm giving 50. And then when we hit a, a rough spot or a hard time for one of us, then you just not, you're not going to put no more in. You're not going to do no more to support me or to support us or to make this you know, work, you know what I'm saying? I could be sick, I could be injured, I could be, you know, having a bad day, whatever the case may be. Like Smooth was saying, it's not, it's not about, you know, having to do more than the other person or be more than the other person, or I gotta be better at this than you. We we should compliment each other. We should be able to bring certain things to the table. Uh, I look at it as like, I if if I can, if I can do XYZ by myself and you can do ABC, let's bring it together and do this whole alphabet together. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's it's more of we should be supporting each other. We should be, it's a partnership. You know what I'm saying? And so throw these percentages out the window, especially when you're talking 50-50 stuff, because ain't no 50-50. You know, somebody's somebody's got to pick up these pieces, got to pick up this slack, got to, you know, do go a little bit extra. I like the I like the idea of the 100 100 because that was kind of basically what I was saying. I was saying, look. I'm going to do the best I can do, but if, if I got to do a little extra to help you out or support you, I'm going to try my best to do a little extra to support you. I'm going to be doing my normal day to day. I think that's where somebody was, was, gonna, was disagreeing with me because I think I said, you know, do a little extra and it's not extra on, you know, oh, I'm giving my hundred percent and now you asking me to do 110. No, it's not that. What I'm saying is if my normal day to day is I go to work, I come home, I may jump on the on a podcast. I might, you know, read a book or something. But now if my girl is like, look, I don't feel good. These dishes got to get washed. The laundry got to get done. And that's usually what she take care of. I'm going to take care of it. I'm not going to let the, the house fall apart because she's sick. And I don't want to yeah. give a, a little extra. That's all I'm saying. True. All right. And I think, so... I think my, uh, not to cut you off, Frank. <laughs> uh, I think that's where uh, Willie stated it. I was like, I'm not going to go above and beyond if mm -hmm. she's not going to match that. You feel right. me? If she's not going to match that, what's the point of me going above and beyond to try to salvage something that she's not willing to go above and beyond to salvage? Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like, if she can't meet me full, fully, then we're going to have an issue. Yeah. All Let's right, come back so to that. I got, I got a comment on that. We're going to come back to that too. Not a comment, a question, a devil's advocate question. We'll come back. Um, so this is something that I uh damn, I forgot something pre-show. I've been throwing at y'all live though. You know what I'm saying? We good, we professionals. Um, so this is my this was my thing here. Uh the semantics of the numbers, because I'm calling it 50-50 just because you know you usually go to 100. 
And because we're doing a 50-50 as far as our relationship goes, doesn't mean that I give you half of me. That means I give you all that I, I give you all that I can give of, of myself to the relationship. You give your all, I give my all, and that equals up to us being the hundred percent. Now, like we state in real life, is gonna happen. Somebody gonna have a tragedy of a loss of a child, like you said, you certain age, your kids get to a certain age or whatever. Somebody loses a child, a parent, a friend, a, a cousin. That's gonna happen where you're not able to give me all of you at this moment because you need more of me. Copy that happens. But this is one thing, y'all know I never talk about my wife really on the show. This is one of those things me and my wife talk about all the time. Every day can't be Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? If you had a headache on Tuesday, you can't have one Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I understand when we have these situations where you need a little bit more of me. But if a little bit more of me has been going on for eight months, we now have a problem. Because that's not us right. investing into our relationship. That is me, or it could be the female. It could be you investing more into our relationship than I'm willing to give you at this point. Then we have a problem. My whole thing is if we're not both striving to make our situation the best, then we got an issue. If I now understand like-minded people getting together because like I just was saying with Smooth for saying that because as far as relationships, because then y'all have both got the same shortcomings probably. If y'all mm-hmm. both if y'all both not about saving money, then what are we gonna do in 20 years when we still here? Because we both been blowing the money. If we right, both save, right. the, if we're both into saving, then we just not enjoying nothing right now while we're young and able to do it all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like so, kind of so let me ask you a question. Balance. Go ahead. Let me ask you the question. This question. Is this question based on gender rules? Because I think that was the crux of our argument too. Uh, we was debating yeah, too. Right? It was, yeah. We was we was debating gender roles too. Yeah, gender roles. So my thing is, are we expecting men to bring something to a certain thing to the table, or things to the table, and women to bring certain things to the table? Because I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. So as far I, as what? Throw, throw me an example though. Like as far as. Women, well, if there's somebody early. breaking in, if there's somebody breaking in the house, that's hundred percent me. My wife is never getting to join and going down the steps. Okay, like I, I, I agree. I don't know. My, my my girl, my girl, the shooter. So if, no. if if they if they breaking in the house, I'm about to go check, but I'm gonna be like, look, there they go, right there. You know, I'm not gonna <laughs> be. I ain't gonna listen. be in the room in the room with the kids hiding under the bed while you downstairs and you hear. Pop, pop. Oh no, 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 no! I'm going down too. I'm going down too, but I'm yeah. ducking. She's shooting because I don't have no aim. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm kind of I I will willing. We, if, if it's a them breaking in this house, then guess right. what? They're gonna have to deal with us. Oh, they're gonna deal with us. us. Oh hell us no! Both, hell no! Us, us is both bust. Hold up! <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. I, I told listen. I told my wife <laughs> like, like 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 still team six in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can be, if I'm getting jumped, you don't get your ass out this car. All right. Oh, no, no, no. If, no I don't. If it's twelve no. niggas broken here, okay, you find a way out of here with these kids. I got this. I bought that. That's me. I'm a wholeheartedly in believe in gender roles personally. So yeah, I see, and no, I think that's where there is no chance in hell you coming down these steps. Like, okay, and, and see, oh, go, go ahead, smooth. Because yep. because we talking to the extreme now. We talking to the mm-hmm. extreme, and, and and I'm being, I'm you know, I'm being facetious. Because no, we're some, in a safe space here. Yeah, because you know somebody <laughs> somebody breaking my house, you know, they already know. You feel me? They gonna meet a bullet before they meet a who's that. Uh, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh I'm just talking about like how Willie brought up about uh the housework, stuff like mm-hmm. that. You know what I mean? Right. Are we are we saying that that's what a woman, the cooking, the cleaning, and all that? Is that, yeah, is that supposed to be that? Because I wasn't taught that way. I'm going to tell you, and I'm telling you this from a man who was raised by a man and a woman. You feel mm-hmm. me? I wasn't taught like that. You feel me? I was yeah. taught. Go ahead, Willie. So so this is my thing. Um, <laughs> I, and, I, and, I, and I think it does go to either the way you were taught growing up or, or just kind of like that feeling that you have of how you want to do things, how you want, you know, how you want things to, how you move, basically. It's how you move, right? And I know that when I was growing up, my was I was taught that a man is a provider. You know, a man is a provider, but also a man is responsible for each and everything that happens in his household as well. If 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 my father walked in the house and we haven't eaten, my father cooking. If my if my father walked in the house and there's you know some piece of the house falling apart, he about to fix it. If 
you know, whatever the case may be. Now, if, you know, like you say, a, a, an assignment was, a, was supposed to be on a kid, on a wife, on somebody, like this is your normal thing to do. That's your normal thing to do. But if it's if it's falling by the wayside and it needs to be taken care of, my father either going to take care of it or he's going to redelegate. You know, that's what he taught us. He's like, look, you you are the manager of this house. You know, you have to decide who's going to do what. And then if it can't get done by one of those people, you got to do it yourself. Either pay somebody, do it yourself or get somebody else to do it. So yeah. you got to you got to be the manager of your household. So being gender roles sound great, sound like all this, that, and the other, but in my eyes and the way I was taught is that it's all about the, the, it's all about, you know, being accountable and responsible. You got to be, you got to have, you gotta, somebody's got to be held accountable. That man is held accountable. Somebody's going to be responsible. It may fall on him, may fall on the wife, may fall on the kid, but he, that man is accountable for what happens in that house. So I'm, I'm good with that. That's what I'm good with. So we having two different conversations because I don't remember. I don't remember that that's what we was talking about because it was a couple of weeks ago. We could have been. We, yeah, we, 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 we had a lot of conversations. Of yeah. And now because uh, the way that I grew up, my mom worked from home. My dad ain't doing none of that stuff. Like <laughs> my dad ain't washing no clothes. He ain't washing no dishes. Is none of that's happening. I'm more so talking as the relationship. It's a the reason why I always say that is because we have an equal job. We're just doing different jobs. You like players on the team. We're all valuable to this team. And without all the players, the team ain't going to win. But we all have different jobs to perfect. Somebody has to throw the ball. Somebody has to block for the quarterback. Somebody has to run the ball. Somebody has to catch the ball. We all have important jobs. They're just different. We're just not doing the same thing. And like I said, every day can't be Tuesday. There's going to be times where my mom had to do something or she was out with behind or something. Then all right, copy. You can figure, you can figure it out today. I can figure it out on Tuesday. But now once we get to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I can't still be figuring everything out. That's not what mm -hmm. my job is. That's not the, what makes us a team. That's what's making us, like I said, now we're going above and beyond the situation. And now this isn't us pulling our situation forward. When I first talked to Willie and Sonny, the very first time I told them, I ain't got no problem if we all pull in a rope and we look down and our hands is all fucked up. But if we're pulling... Or if the rope is being pulled and I look down and my hands is fucked up and you got a perfect manicure, I got issues because that's mm -hmm. not us working on our situation. That's right. any relationship. You know what I'm mm -hmm. In any relationship we have, the friend who gives the good advice, the friend who always complains, the friend who's financially secure, the friend who like you got all of those different situations and in any relationship, even if we take it outside of the male female dynamic, we have a job to do with each other. Where you got to pull your half, I got to pull my half. But if it's, that's not the situation, if them texts are only always coming from one side and not both sides, then we have a problem. If the you good joints only come out on my side and they don't come out on your side, we got issues. Here's where I'm going to challenge the point where you said we're having two different discussions. Because a relationship encompasses all of that. You feel me? The relationship is going, especially, and you know you married. You feel me? All that stuff come into play. Who did what? Did you pick up the kids today? This, that, and the third. You feel me? Now, like you said, every day can't be Tuesday, but everything can't be regimented in a relationship neither. I don't, I, I, I don't believe. I believe certain, certain things are fluid because, like I said, situations change. You feel me? Situations change. What happens if, 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 if you get hurt at work? Then guess mm -hmm. what? Your wife going to have to take over that until she gonna have to be the uh, number one provider until you get right. You mm -hmm. feel me? And so then you gonna have to rotate your position into, all right, well, I'm gonna take care of the kids more. I'm gonna pull my weight over here. Now, I mean, you use the football analogy. Yeah, but sometimes the quarterback block. Sometimes <laughs> right, the quarterback right. run. Some, the mm -hmm. wide receiver block. Sometimes the wide receiver throw the ball. But you that's know also what I, mean? so I said though too. Sometimes real life happens. And copy, mm -hmm. real life is going to happen in any situation. But if we are now six, eight months, unless we, like you said, it's an injury situation. I got a personal situation that I could tie that in, but I, that's somebody <laughs> else's business and I don't want to give that on the show. Um, mm -hmm. But unless you have a permanent situation where I can no longer work or I can no longer do this, that's different. Now we have to switch up our situation because our circumstances have changed. 
Mm-hmm. But if our circumstances haven't changed, then what are we switching up the game plan for? If this is what's leading us to help our relationship, if this is what's making our situation prosper, why would we change it? Like, okay, I this get, is where I look. This is, I get that things happen from time to time, but again, every day can't be Tuesday. But, ahead, but also, I think I think I think it's like this to to, to piggyback and 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 ride along with uh, Smooth's interpretation of everything needs to be fluid. Everything needs to be fluid because. It does. It just does. Life happens one way or another. There's going to have to be a change. You got to be flexible with the change. If you are rejecting the change because you're like, you know, I don't want to ever do this because, you know, this is your job. If you're like that, then you, 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 you're you causing a detriment to the whole situation. But if everything is fluid where you're like, okay, I wanted to go this way. It, you know, I want, I want us to stay in these lanes. But, you know, if today you just don't feel like it, I got you. If tomorrow... I, I, I got to do something because my mama called me, then you got it. If, you know, next week, the whole week, I'm going to need you to switch lanes with me. We got it. You know, we got, we got to be fluid throughout life. That's all. I think that's the main bottom line is that I think it needs to be understood that things need to be fluid and it needs to be subjective because what works for me can't work for you a hundred percent. My situation is different. I I make different money. I go to different places. I live in a different region. You know what I'm saying? You know, I think we generalize way too much on social media, on podcasts, on stuff. Because I think, you know, even us saying, you know, oh, you know, we're going to pick up the slack here and there. Somebody's, somebody's, Somebody's husband is in a wheelchair and he can't pick up the slack for his wife that needs to go down these stairs and do blah 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 whatever the case may be somebody's uh a uh, uh, spouse is is mentally ill and they can't even do that much and but that other but the other spouse loves them that much that they're going to pick up the slack on everything that that mentally ill spouse can't do um you know i like you said i got a personal situation too where i know of a couple that you know they they went through it but they had years decades of loving supportive situation and then one of them went through something where now that other person is basically the soul everything they do everything you know but they they chose to stay in that situation because of that love that they have for that person because of everything they both been through and they like hey you know they gotta they gotta take both lanes you know what i'm saying everybody has a different situation and we all but i think bottom line we do need to be fluid about how we do things we gotta be uh, you know, we like I said, we we gotta we gotta take accountability for each other and say, hey, where do, where do you fall short? What do I fall short? Where do you need help? Where do you need support? And just keep it moving. Make it work for you. Make it work for your relationship. One thing that you said though that I did the general we you can't ever generalize all situations to be the same because they're not. Mm-hmm. And also, people change over these course of these years. That's what the I was individual about. has the right to grow, and you can't. It's not. Uh, it's not right for you to stunt their growth because you're small minded or because mm-hmm. you're like not able to see the vision. But we also have to, when the circumstances change, then we need to change the game plan. We need, we need to sit down and have that conversation again, right. whether that be me and Willie's relationship, that be me and Smooth's relationship, I, even outside of the female dynamic. Like if we don't say, yo, the circumstances change because I had a child now and I can't hang like we used to. The circumstances changed now because my wife got injured or because I got injured. I tore my ACL, whatever the situation is. We now have to sit down, have a conversation to where we are adjusting the game plan. The problem with our situations, mm-hmm. though, there are people don't have those conversations where we're going to adjust the game plan. They just decide. Yeah, communication doing, is this all. Yeah, I'm doing this because that's what's best for me and it's not what's best for we. Which is why I said in the beginning, if we're not both pulling, if we're not doing what's going to make our situation best for us, then we got a problem. But so let me like ask, you, let, go ahead. Let go me, ahead. I'm, I'm about to switch it up a little bit because I, I agree with everything y'all just said. You feel me? Uh, personal experience. I can think. I, you know, I talked on this previous show <clears throat> that I was on here with hype about my father. Feel me? Father, mm-hmm. first born out of my grandma and uh, grandfather kids in New Jersey. He was the Go getter. He was the everything for everybody. <clears throat> he got sick. You know, my dad died at 42. He was married for eight years. So towards towards the end, who took over that role? His wife. Mm-hmm. You understand? So right. it, you know, things, situations change. She became the breadwinner. He had to be the one uh, to take care of the kids, make sure food was cooked and all that. You know, that wasn't what he wanted. 
You, you right. feel me? That wasn't what he envisioned, especially being a proudful man, but he had to accept what the circumstances were and adapt to him. Now, back Copy. I want to back, I want to back up real quick. So when we're talking about 50, 50, 100, 100, we're talking about what a person brings to the table. So hype, I know you married. Well, you 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 know what I mean you was married before, you know, but we're all similar as to <clears throat> we can stand on our own. Right. You feel me? I'm I'm used to providing for myself, take care of myself. I'm raising my daughter. My daughter lives with me. Blah blah blah. I can handle all of that. Right. So I'm never impressed when a woman comes to me talking about how much money she made, what she got. You feel me? That doesn't move me. <laughs> you feel me? You can make it's a like, million or a dollar. I don't want none of your money. Yeah, exactly. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't know. If you million. make a million, I might consider it. <laughs> That's cool. Though. You got the nah, M I mean, and I slide but... to your crib. I know it's lit over there, but I don't want it. <laughs> don't cash but, at me, like, nothing. <laughs> she a functional adult. Cool. You right. know what I mean? Like, right. yeah, functional adult like that, yeah. Yeah, like we don't care. Yeah, that was a good one. You know what I mean? So <laughs> my my question to y'all is, you know, a height. I'm going to start with you since you married. What is the, since you said 50-50 or the 100, what is it that you want from her to bring to the table? What is that? I got to provide, I, for me, uh, for things to work your for wife. me. Yeah. I pro- huh? Yeah. No, your wife. I provide the house and you make it a home. Yeah. I provide a house and you make it a home. That's what I need. Okay. I don't need you to come. I don't need $120 for the cable bill. I don't need $60 for the electric bill because we're going to split these joints down the middle. That's not what I need. Like I said, you can make a million or a dollar. It won't make a difference to me. I'm not asking you for anything. <laughs> but I need you to handle all of that stuff that I don't want to deal with. I don't want to have to handle you no know, the, the clothes. The, the, I will provide you with all the detergent you need. I will provide you with all the food that you need to cook. Even though I'm really the one that cooks because I'm the one who likes to cook. But depending on where I'm working at that day or what we got the situation is. But I don't want to have to deal with dishes and I don't want to deal with clothes. <laughs> like I'll do homework with the kids and not want to do that. But, you know, that's just it is what it is. You might be at work this night and all of that type of shit. But I'll provide the house. You make it a home. That's what I need. Willie, uh, I mean, for me, it's 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 more of I, I just look morally more primarily on that emotional support that that uh uh you know ability to 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 have a good time with each other, the ability to just be, be able to connect and be compatible. Um, you know, I don't I don't have young kids. I don't have to think about that. Um, being in living together, yeah, just over. you know. <laughs> Just being, oh no, no, I'm, I'm done with, I'm, I'm done with all that. I got great kids. I'm straight. <laughs> so you know, being able, being able to, like, I just need a companion, I guess, basically. You know, I need a good companion. That I mean, I can still be, well, you can still be partners in, in terms of, you know, building something. Not, not, not no family, but building, you know, a business, building me supporting your business, you supporting me on mine. You know, I, I it's mostly for me, it's mostly emotional uh, support. Uh, you know, be a be be a semi cheerleader. I don't need I don't need to be motivated by your by your thing, but I need you to be behind me. You know, be like, hey, is that you know? more so though? Is that more so though? Just like you said, I need. Is that more so a companion? More so, just yeah, that's like more, that's, a, that's more of a companion than than yeah, because because this because this doesn't the, sound like we get we don't need I don't I don't need somebody to raise my kids. I, my kids grown. I don't need nobody to help me with my grandkids. My kids. I don't need all that. I don't need you to clean my house. My house clean. You know, I took care of that already, you know. Now if we live together, we just gotta be compatible in that. We gotta, you know, if 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 I'm if if I'm a if I'm a cleaner and and you messy, and if I if I can deal with your messy and I'm a cleaner, then that might work out. Vice versa, that might work out. But past that, I'm not looking for somebody, but the I need the peace. I need the peace of knowing that I got a person that's that's by my side that will that will be that's my road dog saying, that's yeah. gonna do that's <laughs> gonna do stuff with me. That's what I said. That's what I said. I just need companionship. That's what I need. So because at my age, I don't need I don't need a I don't need I don't need a, a, a housemaker. 
you know, mm. I don't need a, 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 a child care. I don't need any of that, you know, and you know, how did I feel about it when I was younger? That I don't know. I can't even recall. Like, it's been so long. <laughs> you know, I'm at an age now where it's like, nah, this is what I need. I need, need a travel companion. I need somebody who can do this business stuff with me, who can, you know, we, we just, we just trying to live life comfortably together, you know? See, and that's why, that's, that's why I asked this question. Right, y'all called me at the right time because a couple of years ago, oh, my answer was a lot different. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, I'm sure it was. All of I think all of our answers would be a lot different. That, mm -hmm. but the reason why I asked that question. Is wait, because wait, you wait, wait, wait. You answer the question now. I am. I'm, that's just what oh, I'm getting I'm to. Copy that. My bad. The reason, yeah, the reason why I asked that question <laughs> is because all three of us are in different stages. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So what we would require from a partner is different. See, I don't said, you know, I don't been through multiple relationships, bro. Do I want another child? See, I'm different from where I might want another child. Mm -hmm. I definitely me? wanted another child. So, so yeah, that okay. right there, especially at my age, is a deal breaker for a lot of women before we even get started. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm yeah. saying? So that's one. I think we're all in, in unison where we want someone who bring us peace, who mm -hmm. who who, who uh, give us that moral support. Yeah. I'm also leaning towards Willie, though. You feel me? Like, and, and similar to what you said, Hank, first of all, I love to cook. I was a cook before, so I love to mm -hmm. cook. So I, I don't need you to, 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 to cook. I would like for you to know how to cook. So we can cook. You, you said it so better than I did, bro. You said it, you said it better than I did, bro. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. So, but as far as taking care of my house, you feel me? Like, I'm kind of stuck in my ways a little bit. So how I'm going to run my house is going to be a little bit. I have to find somebody compatible to how I run my house. You right, feel me? We, right. That's one thing we have to be totally mm -hmm. lock, and step, lock, step, and key with. Because if you come in here and you on some old different type of shit, I don't like no messy house. I don't <laughs> yeah. like nobody just leaving shit all. You know what I mean? I don't got mice. I don't got roaches. I don't got none of that. Yeah. All I do right. is ants when they come in the spring. You, right. you feel me? Yeah, like, that's only like, a springtime thing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got to worry about. Raid the windows down and we iced. <laughs> exactly. You feel me? Right. right. So, sure. so, with, sure. so with me, when it comes to, that's why I said on the show that, the, the, on that same show we talking about, to be honest with you, I want somebody, a woman, outside of that, what we just talked about, to bring me something I've never seen before. Oh, right, right. You feel me? Because I've seen, you know, I don't want what I've seen because obviously that doesn't work. You feel me? Yeah, because if, if, yeah, if you like that, you'd have been there. Copy. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. You, I couldn't have said it no better, huh? If exactly. I would have liked it that much, I would have stayed. So evidently, mm. I need somebody to bring me something I haven't seen yet to, to, mm. to better me. You right. feel me? So that's that's what I want my other half or my other whole to bring me a whole different perspective. Yeah, and 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 that's and, and that's and that's what I've smooth, I hey, yo, well. smooth just smooth killed us with his answer, Willie. Right yeah, there, oh, for right sure. there, right there, yeah, end. Like, <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. He de he, de he definitely wrapped it up with a bow because that's exactly what I've been going through lately. Well, I, I've definitely I didn't understand what he was saying at, during the show, but the way he just articulated it now, I got you. I got you. that's exactly how I feel. That's exactly how I, feel. I need something different. Show me some like shit you said, I ain't know show me some there. shit. I ain't exactly because if I if I'd have liked, if I'd have liked that old shit, I'd still be there. And I don't and I don't Yo, like it wasn't that like, great. You exactly. you can do what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You feel me? Um, so Go ahead. before we before we close our episode one hundred six, like I said, damn smooth, you killed us right there at the end. Um, that might be a topic, smooth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was something I meant to throw at y'all before the show, and I messed this one up. But you know, we do this. We, we do this all the time. So now I need both out of both of y'all one question for me. Hype on the hot seat. You throw one random question at me, I throw you a live answer. This was no pre. This was no uh, no pre situation together here because I didn't tell y'all before the show. So Willie's right. got the look on his face like Smooth's going first. So Smooth, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go to you first. All one right, random smooth. question. It could be related to whatever. Okay. Uh, well, we know we just got finished Ramadan or whatever. Not whatever. I don't want to say it like that. It's show. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people. Copy. But what if your children grow up and have a disdain for uh, Islam? 
How would that mm. make you feel? Mm. That is an episode. <laughs> um, but I'll give you the I'll give you the short answer here. Uh, Kai, who y'all heard on the show before, Kai is ten. Kai just fasted this Ramadan for the first time. I uh, think she might have got like twenty four days in or so. I want to say twenty three, something like that. Um, I always tell people it's a church right here. On the other side of this wall right here is a church. That church has been here my whole life. <laughs> you name a song, I probably know it. Half my family Muslim, half my family Christian. As long as you believe in something, we're good. If you get to an age and stage where you want to make your decision to do whatever it is, like the people from Moses was, was worshiping the golden calf, if that's what you want to do, once you're old enough to make those decisions, then copy. That's you. I won't stop you from doing that. But as long as you are of age and stage where you're under my care, then this is what we do. Now, if they ain't, I won't force it on you. Because if you force it on them, then it becomes one of those things where they could just resent it because it was always a thing that you made. Them. It. So whenever we, it's time to pray and you got an attitude towards it, you're not praying because you're not even, all you're doing is going through the motions. You're not getting anything out of this. It's pointless for you to do. But that is definitely like, a, I'm trying to figure out how to formulate that into an episode. All right, cool. But so yeah, I, I've had that conversation with my kids before. All right, so... um Mine, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go this route. Um, okay, you're you're married, hype, right? So, I don't know what your wife does, but let's say your wife decides today that she wants to quit her job or quit whatever she's currently doing, and she's like, I want to start, you know, doing a business, and it's like the craziest idea you ever heard. You're like, this, this, this shit is off the wall, crazy, but you also see people making money doing it. You're like, this is some shit that she she never wanted to do before. Like, it might be like, she want to sell uh, timeshares. She's like, look, I'm going to sell timeshares. Timeshares is making money. You know, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a good salesperson. Are you going to support your wife in something that you know she could be successful at, but you just like, it's the most off the wall thing. It's a risk, right? What, 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 is, what is your game plan for how you would handle that? So this was like the reverse of our situation when, I did that mm-hmm. with Custom Hustle and uh, H2H Cleaning. So okay, okay. she supported my situation when I came to her with that. So the one thing I would ask you is, well, what homework have we done on that? Show, mm-hmm. Make it make sense for me. If you can make it make sense for me, just because, for argument's sake, we're going to use, if just because Willie's selling timeshares out his ass, copy. Show me how you're going to be able to do that. What's the demand for your supply? If you have a demand for the supply, then copy. We can go here and we can go in with both feet. But if you're telling me like, oh, no, well, I just know my girlfriend was doing it. She be making money, but you didn't do no research, don't know nothing about it. Then what are we doing? Like, come to me with a game plan and we will execute this drink. But come to me with just some thoughts, feelings, and emotions and, and, and copy. That's what's up. Yeah, it's better be at that seven to three on Monday. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That was episode 106. Y'all appreciate y'all coming on. We are out. I am hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up.